and my name is Benedict and I study BSc Economics. So I'm from Cardiff in Wales, um, quite far away from Nottingham, but, um, but yeah, no, I'm really passionate about being Welsh. Um, so I'm a big Cardiff City fan in the football and things like that. I'm actually um, the Vice President of the Welsh Society in Nottingham. Um, so I've tried to kind of keep that Welsh link going in, in, in the uni and try and get Welsh people together. Um, and I also do a, a Welsh sports podcast on the university radio. So I'm definitely very passionate about being Welsh and I try and keep that, even when I'm living in England, try and keep, keep that together, yeah. Um, I, I suppose kind of like friends and family, like your, your, your community and the people that care about you is um, very important. Um, but also in terms of like kind of hobbies and stuff, I'm into my music a lot. Um, so I enjoy like going to gigs and um, stuff like that, doing interviews with bands and, um, and yeah. I decided to go to university because I think I kind of wanted to carry on my um, kind of ed educational um, progress and I wanted to challenge myself in a, a different city and yeah, go somewhere new and um, do a different subject. I've never done economics before, uh, I didn't, never did economics before uni. Um, I think university just seemed like a really good challenge and, and also like a nice stepping stone between kind of childhood and, and adult life. Um, and why I chose Nottingham in particular, um, it seemed like the perfect fit for me. So I um, used to play um, table tennis for Wales and um, Nottingham has the best, by far the best table tennis setup in the country. Um, so that was a big motivation for me to come to kind of challenge myself in my training and the competition and things like that. Um, but also I kind of really liked the city when I came to visit on two occasions, I think. I um, really liked the campus. I've always been, um, for quite a while, wanted to go to a campus uni. I just really liked that idea of it kind of being its own bubble and uh, you know everyone and it's just kind of like its own like, little world, isn't it? Um, and obviously Nottingham has such a beautiful campus. But um, yeah, so in a lot of ways it just kind of ticked every box and um, Nottingham did, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think my expectations before uni where I think there's this big stereotype, isn't there, of university is, um, you know, all this kind of drinking and students living in these horrible houses that are really dirty and, and, um, and yeah, there's an element of that, obviously, but, but also there's kind of so much more to, to university life. Um, and I think there's so many different types of people at uni that there are, some people who want to live that kind of stereotypical university life, but there are also plenty of others that want to live in different ways and and do different things. And um, I definitely found that university there's just such a broad range of people, um, and you kind of find the people who are like you, and there's m it's much easier to do that than I think at, at school or in, in your earlier life because there are so many people at university in so many different societies and groups um, that you can find yourself in. We um, one night went to the Mooch, the student bar. We decided, I think there was nothing really going on that night, so me and a few friends that I'd, I'd made it in the first few days went to the student bar and it turned out completely um, by chance that there was this um, kind of gig going on there at the time. Really kind of small bands, you know, like 20, 30 people. And there was one band um, that played called Blondes. Um, who I then really liked. I, I really liked their music. Um, and then listened to them on Spotify afterwards. And again, at that point, they only had a few a couple of thousand listeners or, or streams, whatever. Um, and that became that soundtrack to my early days of uni then. Um, and then in second year then, um, one of their songs like, exploded on TikTok and has now got about 8 million streams or something. Um, me and my friends do a radio show on the on the university radio and we actually interviewed them just as they were kind of going big and that was really cool, that was a great interview, our first ever interview actually. Um, and they've gone bigger and bigger and now we've, we've seen them now at kind of Rock City and these massive gigs and I always remember going back to you know that first one of those first few days of Freshers Week, seeing them in Mooch in a little student bar of 20-30 people. So that's probably, yeah, I go with that as a, as a memory of, of that first week, yeah. 
I think those kind of the lectures in first year, because what was so nice about first year was that we all kind of did the same modules. So there was a nice group of us, um, kind of six of us, that of, of our friends who all did, did economics. And so in first year, we all did the same modules pretty much. So we'd all go from lecture to lecture. Um, whereas now, because we all do different ones, it's not, not so kind of together. Um, it's hard to pick on one lecture, but I think just my main memory of lectures is just it's so nice to just be with your friends. And it's kind of like in first year, you were kind of with your friends all the time because you'd, you'd have, I was in K to you'd have breakfast with them, and then you'd go to lectures with them, and then everything else in the evening and stuff. So I think just being with your friends and sometimes you get distracted and you'd find yourself playing some game or whatever, or when you should be listening to the lecture, or, or your friend would ask you a question about, about what's going on in the lecture. Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's, there's one lecture that stands out, but I think that's my main memory of lectures, is just that kind of being with your friends, kind of, yeah, it's just a nice way to spend the day, I think, actually, being in lectures with your friends, yeah. Although I, I absolutely loved living in halls, um, yeah, so lived in catered halls, and it was just so nice, everyone was so sociable, like, all the time, it was a very open plan hall, so everyone kind of knew everyone, you could go to anyone's room, about kind of like very easily um, and yeah they eat together he'd sort out you know what time we're going down for dinner and we'd all go down together and then afterwards we'd kind of go to the the junior common room and play pool after um, and yeah it was it was just so nice um, just to be around your friends like, all the time um, and we got like a really good group of like quite a large group because it was such a social hall you kind of knew so many people and, um, and you end up finding some really good friends. Um, I'm quite into my sports, so I think I, David Ross Sports Village is, is a fantastic venue. Uh, great facilities. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of, like, yes, yeah, so now I play a lot of football and hockey on the kind of outdoor pitches, but I used to play a lot of the table tennis in the upstairs cell um, area. Um, and yeah, I think there's, there's something for everyone at, at David Ross, um, even though it's IMS, so it's that high level sport. So I was in Rutland Hall, so that was right opposite David Ross. So it was really easy in first year to just go across whenever you wanted. So if I, yeah, if I had to kind of draw a circle around a little old magus that, that meant a lot to me on campus, then it would be that Rutland and David Ross, that, that little area, yeah. I love my, my music and so... Um, the Bodega. So I'm into like indie music is my kind of thing. So um, we went in first year, loads and loads to like these club nights at Rock City or Ocean or whatever, and they'd be playing the kind of not really my kind of music. And then we ended up finding um, the Bodega, who on Wednesday nights would be indie Wednesdays, and me and my friends were just like amazed that we could finally find somewhere that we'd go and we'd hear the music that we wanted to listen to. Um, and yeah, I've had some, some great memories in, in D Wednesdays. So yeah, the Bodega is probably the place off campus, my favourite place in Nottingham, yeah. Being able to get anywhere so quickly like on, on campus, you know, and especially in Nottingham, it's, while it's a big campus and there's so many things there, it's also easy to get around. Nowhere is really more than a 20 minute walk, I'd say. Um, so that just makes it so easy to, to, to get around. Um, whether your lectures on the other side of the campus or not, um, it's just yeah, it's, it's kind of doable and and easy, and and you can meet up with your friends whoever there if they're on the other side of the campus and you're here, you can get around easily. It's just I think that's that's the best thing about living on campus. Yeah, I th I think Nottingham as a city is very geared up to students, um, and I think the uni kind of is a perfect part of that, and that it's the uni is kind of like placed in a part. You know, it's not too far from the city centre at all. You know, it's very walkable to uh, Lenton as well. It, it just kind of, everything's kind of worked perfectly. It kind of, yeah, the, the uni is kind of part of the city and it kind of fits perfectly. You know, not in the rest of the city, it's, you know, quite cheap. Um, but also plenty of things to do in terms of nightlife and sport. You know, you've got Trump Bridge for the cricket, city ground for the football, um, you know, ice hockey and things like that. Um, yeah, I think it's just a really nice city to, to be in as a student, I think. I really enjoyed my course, I didn't, so I didn't do economics before university, so it's a bit of a, a risk for me. 
But as soon as I picked it, I kind of knew it was the right decision. Economics kind of goes into everything, doesn't it? You know, everything you can find economics in any any subject, and especially as you're going to go through the years, you're able to pick more um, optional topics like um, political economics or labour economics. You can really find what you're interested in, and then you're kind of able to apply once you have those kind of general skills that that kind of special first year economics gives you. You're kind of able to apply your economic mind to any kind of anything you see in the world, you can kind of look at it from an economic point of view. And um, I think that's quite good, yeah. I mean, in a way, I've kind of, I've had quite a good time at university and I haven't really needed any kind of, really kind of um, strong support on any kind of difficult issues. But, but I definitely do feel like it, there is support there for me. And I know like, it's very well promoted that if you do need that support, there's the, the counselling service and the science services and all, all kind of things that, that are there for you. Um, but also, yeah, definitely, like, your friends, I, I definitely, yeah, I felt that, that, you know, they're there for me. And, and, and there's also, obviously, your, your family at home, you know, it's, uh, they're, you know, you can still kind of call them and they're, they're still there for you. But, yeah, no, I, I definitely would say I, I, I felt, felt supported. You know, you've got your, your personal tutor and, um, you know, each kind of society has, like, a welfare um, rep. And even in terms of something like housing, um, you know, the, the students' union um, kind of give you advice on on how to find your house, and they'll check over your housing contract and and things like that. So you definitely, even when you're kind of going off campus, you don't you know kind of like left to fend for yourselves. You always feel like the university and, and the students' union is is there to support you. Yeah, I think just be, just being at university where there's so many people, they've all got their own certain skills and and passions, and they're all kind of striving towards kind of this kind of graduate idea of kind of going on to achieve something in your in your career, using your degree to achieve something in your career. And I think just being in that environment where there's so many people, um, they've all got their own kind of ideas and dreams and um, goals and they're all trying to achieve them. I think that is in, inspiring in, in itself really and, and being able to do that in, in such a beautiful campus as well is um, it's such a nice place to be able to I just know it's so nice to be on campus and it's just like a nice feeling when you're when you're on campus to be when there's so many people it's kind of buzzing and that kind of buzz on campus inspires me, yeah. So in first year I was part of the Bucks table tennis team. Um that was a great experience doing you know, lots of lots of training, multiple nights a week and then travelling around playing different universities in Bucks matches and things like that. You kinda of definitely felt especially as a first year when you're looking to meet people, you were kind of thrown into this environment where there was kind of a ready-made group of maybe 30 people that, that all knew you and you'd see them multiple times a week. Um, and that was definitely a great experience, especially in my, so in my previous tail tennis life, I'd already met quite a few of them. So it was kind of like a nice easing into my university life. To, it was almost like I'd kind of carried on a little bit of my previous life um, because I knew quite a lot of them already. Um, so that was definitely good. Um, but then since then I've kind of participated in a lot of IMS sport, uh, which is obviously m much less kind of serious, but, but it's also been quite rewarding. Um, so yeah, so I've played IMS football and IMS hockey. Um, and that's been also a great way to meet people. You know, you have the same teams week on week and you, you kind of do socials and stuff as well, after games and whatever. Um, the, the IMS season is ending in a couple of weeks. And um, I kind of think that like, it'll be a big hole to fill in my, in my life in the summer term because I won't have that, yeah. So yeah, so I'm currently the Vice President of the Welsh Society. Um, and that's been a fantastic experience. So I've managed to, so the President is one of my best friends from, that I've known since I was about four. So the two of us have managed to kind of build this Welsh Society over the last kind of two years. Um, from when we took it over, we had kind of really kind of a handful of members, and now we've kind of got a lot more, and we do a lot more things, and that's been a great experience to kind of feel like you've kind of built something. But I'm also in lots of other societies. Um, so um, the University Radio, I think it's a, not like a society, it's a student men network, I think, but similar kind of thing. That's been fantastic. So I started that in second year. So yeah, me and one of my closest friends uh, started a radio show. And in that second year, because of like, the lockdown and stuff, we, it was kind of just us doing our radio show, which was still a, an incredible thing. We never, something we never thought we'd do, or something that I never thought I'd do. 
and we really enjoyed that. But then what's been great is this year, now it's become more of a normal society because it's, you know, we're able to meet and stuff. The whole kind of radio has become a massive community for me that so I play football with them on a Wednesday, I play hockey with them on a Sunday. We go to Ocean together, you know, we, there's plenty of things. We will watch sport together. Um, I go on other people's shows, guests on them and whatever. So everyone kind of knows each other and it's definitely in this, in this final year has been a massive part of my life, the radio. And finally, the, um, the mic, which is the, the music magazine. That's been another great kind of experience and opportunities for me because well, they kind of offer um, like guest lists for gigs and stuff. So you review, you go and fly in and you review the gig after. And, and that's a great, <laughs> amazing opportunity. But also more than that, being able to kind of interview bands and things like that and kind of have those experiences, which no one else can really, not, if you're not at, like, if you're not at university and part of, part of the mic, you, yeah, there's some fantastic opportunities to interview bands, which I think, and there is a radio as well, I've done some interviews with them. I, sometimes I think those bands are, way above our kind of pay grade kind of thing. Like, I'm like, why, why are you spending time <laughs> with us interviewing you? Why, why do you care? But, but amazingly, we're able to get this opportunity to interview those, those large bands and um, that's yeah, fantastic. I think I've kind of grown in confidence while I've been at university. Um, I think I started out kind of, yeah, quite quiet and, and cautious maybe in some situations. Um, in school, I had quite, quite a kind of close-knit group of not, not like a small number of really close friends, but, but a small number of them, whereas in uni, I uh, found this kind of quite large group of friends and found that I could kind of make connections with a lot of different types of people. Um, and yeah, that wasn't really restricted so much to, to like people that are very, very similar to me, that I could actually, yeah, make connections with lots of different types of people. Um, yeah, I and then like learning to kind of be more independent, um, especially in second year when you move out into house and things like that. It's it's been a very nice stepping stone into adult life, and I think looking to the future now that I'm kind of graduating and moving to a different place, um, probably um, there's a kind of kind of confidence that if I've done this, I've moved from crowd to nothing, and when it's gone well, then I can move somewhere else again, and I've got that kind of self belief, I suppose. Economics is great because it's kind of quite wide ranging. It's quite an open subject in that you learn plenty of, of skills. You've got your kind of essay writing stuff and you've also got your kind of very mathematical learning how to use these kind of data and analyse data and um, and so I think that kind of like allows you to have lots of options going into going into a graduate life and that there's lots of careers open to you, a lot of graduate employers you know, economics appeals to them because it's got that kind of broad range of skills. Well, I think one of the main things I've seen in, in someone of, of my of my era is um, the pandemic and and being a university student during the pandemic. Um, yeah, obviously difficult because it kind of felt a lot like university is kind of meant to be the best times of your life. And and in first year I'd experienced that and had the best times of my life, and then to be kind of taken away and then you almost felt like you were on the sidelines watching your, your kind of best years of your life kind of float by without being able to do anything much about it. But I think you try and, you try, try and make the best of the, the situation, don't you? And, and I was lucky that I'd made some really good friends in first year so I would have people to live with in second year and still was able to kind of carry on some semblance of university experience. Third year has, has been much better in terms of you able to have yeah, have a lot more fun and, and a lot more of those memories. You know, you kind of I think that was one of the things that I struggled with like last year and that you might have some kind of some fairly fun things like playing FIFA with your friends or whatever. But there was nothing kind of special that you'd remember really. It's kinda of all kind of goes into a blur, doesn't it? Whereas this year there's so many different special things like gigs or sport and events we went to or whatever trips and things that I kind of you go yeah you kind of cherish those memories. So I've definitely really enjoyed things being back open this year. In a way it's a bit sad some of that stuff because it's it kind of makes you realise what, what you missed out on. Like I said in the question before about the radio like how different it's been this year and how much how much I've enjoyed being part of that community and you realise that 
it could have been the same last year, if things are different. Um, so in a way, there's that kind of frustration and sadness that you kind of realise what you missed out on. But at the same time, you're kind of appreciating what you have now and, and making the most of it, yeah. After I graduate, I'm going to be working as a generalist on the civil service fast stream. Um, so that's something I've, wanted, I've kind of had it in my head for since first year, really, at least, that I wanted to work in the public sector and specifically, really, on, on the, the civil service fast stream. So, so I'm very glad I've kind of got this job and um, very excited to, to, to start, really. Um, so I did a summer internship with the civil service last summer, so I've got a bit of an idea now of what it's going to be like. Obviously, it's going to be quite different to that, but, but I've got a bit of a, a taste of it. And I'm also in the process of trying to decide what kind of preferences for location I put down, because I, they, I do have to, I, well, I'm able to put down preferences as, as to where they put me. But I'm definitely excited and I'm glad that I've got something that I know I'm going on to, that uh, it's not kind of like I'm being pushed out of uni and then into, into uh, nothing really. Like, you know, I'm, I'm glad I've kind of got a bit of a structure. I, I met on, in first year, when one of the careers fairs at, at the uni, I met the civil service fast stream and really liked the, the kind of programme. Um, so I had it in my head then that I was kind of hoping to do that. So in first year, I applied to do um, a spring week, um, which is kind of like a, so in, in first year, a lot of kind of banks and, and public sector companies offer a spring week, which is an Easter, um, it's like a one week kind of work experience kind of thing. Um, so I was successful in getting the civil service spring week. It got kind of moulded into this two day online thing because it, that was just after the lockdown started. Um, but then from that, I was able to yeah, apply for the summer internship the next year in, in the end of second year. Um, yeah, I was successful, successful in that. Um, and then from there, so I then, having the, my manager is kind of quite happy with what I'd done and whatever. So um, I received the fast pass, which is meant that I was able to go straight to the assessment centre for the graduate programme, which helped because I meant I didn't have to do all the kind of psychometric tests and other kind of stages that they had. So, so that was kind of the path that I went on. Um, it's quite a nice path of kind of like, it kind of led one to the other to the other and, and um, gave me a lot of experience and kind of kept on kind of confirming that that was what I wanted to do. But also with the uni, I have had, um, yeah, I'd say that one was probably more just myself on my own really, but, but the uni has definitely helped in terms of, um, I remember doing a mock assessment centre with them um, at some point, I think. Um, I've definitely been on numerous kind of um, talks with employers, careers fairs. Um, and I did a spring internship one of the Uni of Nottingham spring internships last year, which was with uh, British Nordic Walking, which was quite interesting. Um, I had to redesign their public membership scheme. So it was like a two week, yeah, two week internship. Um, and I really enjoyed that, that was, that was good fun, yeah. Obviously that, that, yeah, the degree kind of, it gives you opportunities, isn't it? It's in a way it's kind of a passport to, it opens many doors to different careers and, jobs and, and other things maybe, I don't know. Um, so definitely, yeah, in that way it's very important. Obviously it's, it's kind of what you're kind of focus at, at university, it's why, why you're here, isn't it, to get your degree and, and, and move you on to, to other roles in the future. Um, but obviously it's not just all about, all about that, is it? So, you know, university is a lot more, a lot more about, yeah, but it's more, it's about more than just your degree. Um, and so I'm very glad that I've made most of, well, I think I've made most of a lot of different areas of university, like the sports and societies and, and kind of career opportunities and things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's, the, the main thing obviously in terms of the degree is, is, is that, that kind of, the way that employers look at that degree and and how they value it, but, but it's about other things as well. I definitely think my, my kind of goal for a long time was this kind of civil service thing. So I'm, I'm in a way that's, to say it's a dream, is, it, seems, it almost seems like a dream should be more like travel the world or, or whatever. Um, but that's definitely a kind of a, a big goal of mine for quite a long time. So um, I suppose just to, just to kind of be happy with it, isn't it? And, and to, to find 
to find I think to find the place where I feel kind of settled and I've always liked the idea that because in kind of education you've kind of always got this kind of ticking time bomb in a way of you're you might be happy in high school but then you know after six years you're leaving or you might be happy at university but you know after three years or four years you're, you're leaving. I kind of like the idea of finding a job or finding a place or a job and a place where I'm happy and I've got friends and, and whatever and and knowing that I don't have to leave at any point. <laughs> and uh, obviously things change but, but, but the, at least the, the idea that you could potentially carry on like that for, for a long time.